passionate about music. We have been joined in the studio by the director Oliver Jack and the very handsome, well, both of them are handsome, uh, Parry Glasper as well, who's the actor for a new play called Proud, which we are delighted to be talking about today. Well, can I stand in and say, Mm. excuse me, Oliver's very handsome as well and returns to Gay Dogs. We spoke to you a couple of years ago. Thank you very much. And now you've got this fabulous new play. I know, it's called Proud. Do tell more. Uh, well, Proud is uh, truly an, an Olympic story for an Olympic city. Um, the venue who's putting it on, Lost, is, uh, I think, really one of the pride of London sort of theatres because it really nurtures emerging talent yeah. and, and really gets new people out there and into the public eye. Whereabouts in London is it? It's uh, just down the road from Vauxhall. It's sort of between Stockholm well, and Vauxhall. Area, that's, gay yeah, area. That's, that's quite handy. So. I, happy, happy area as <laughs> yeah. well. Lovely yeah. area. Regenerating yeah. area. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, and we wanted to do a show for the Olympics. And um, John Stanley, who, who, who wrote this play a few years ago very kindly uh, linked up with uh, an amazing man called Patrick Wilde who has done a lot of work on uh, on the gay stage and things like that um, and they rewrote Proud for us uh, with an Olympic theme tell me now are you featuring that Heather Small piece of music there may be an appearance it, it, of that it. piece of music yes I was listening to it this morning yeah, it made me a bit teary Aww. Aww. so Parry uh, tell us what role do you play uh, Lewis the man on the poster the uh the hot stud, stud, stud guy. man. All right. Uh, oh, <laughs> he looks like he might be a boxer. Um, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He's an uh, Olympic hopeful. So. Yeah, but he happens to be gay in a world where you really can't be gay. No. It's something we really discussed in the pre-production, you know, how, how difficult it is in the professional sports world mm. for people to be to be honest about their sexuality and, you know, mm. there are no out-premiership footballers, um, which is mm. an amazing statistic, I think, mm. and what whatever your personal opinions on how easy or not easy it is to come out, I think um, the professional sports world is definitely difficult, clearly. Thank, thank goodness we've got our Anton Heysen, who's flying the flag. There you are. Um, <laughs> but he's, you know, a very lone voice, really, in a, in a in that kind of world. Well, it's true, and boxing really takes that to the nth degree. I mean, you know, it's very macho. Yeah, are there any out boxers? I'm trying to think. Not to my knowledge, but I have to say that's not, uh, I'm not the the absolute world expert on on gay boxers. I will be by the end of this show, I'm (laughs) sure. uh, Did you have to do any work down the gym? Because you are looking very buff, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, Thanks. Uh, But yeah, uh, I was on a workout regime kind of before, so I haven't been drinking for about two months, so, which is very good for me. Yeah. (laughs) It's good for anyone. It's good for anyone. Um, But I thought it was a good opportunity to maybe work out for a specific, you know, objective to to look like a boxer because there's no point in going on stage looking like a little fatty and saying, oh yeah, he's an he's a Olympic boxing hopeful. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Is it a one-man show? No, no, it's, oh. a, it's a cast of six in total. I mean, there are, I have to point out, you know, we're talking about Lewis, who, who's obviously the, the centre of the play and the Olympic uh, hopeful, mm. but there are five other amazing characters that John's written, including Lewis's boyfriend. Basically, the, the premise of the show is that it's um, Lewis's 18th birthday, and because he's a boxer and he can't go out and get drunk and do all the rest of it, his mum throws him a birthday party. Yeah. And him and his sister and his mum are there, and also... Um, Tom, his boyfriend's invited, who brings along his mad lesbian friend. Alan, oh, well, lovely. Oh, who, I like the way you looked at um, me there. <laughs> well, I mean, it was either you or Neil, really, wasn't it? Neil! You know? <laughs> <laughs> but she comes along, she's broken up with a girlfriend again and just wants to get drunk. And then Rachel, is a, sorry, Lewis's mum, as a surprise, yeah. has invited Lewis's boxing trainer, Mac, along, who obviously doesn't know oh, that he's, he's gay. gay. Very nice, oh. the conflict. Conflict. Smell a sitcom. Oh. <laughs> well, sorry, we, I we, have we can always <laughs> <laughs> oh wow and then there's the whole thing sort of plays out around yeah, the party it really it? does and you know the stakes are very high for Lewis you know I, mean, like re- I really I want to come see I wonder whether it would happen I wonder I'll organise your ticket oh. <laughs> I, if there was a, a boxer that came out as gay I wonder what the reaction to that boxer would be mm. well, I, I mean, really any, do any young male Olympian yeah. you know, there, there is a huge sort of in sporting culture there is a bit of a boy culture without mentioning a certain diver in question yeah. you know and other people like that you know um, um, and what happens if those people are gay? Yeah. You know, well, what? how does the world react to that? And I'm not saying that any... Well, it's not happened, has is. it? We, we're yet to see this happen. We've got Matthew Mitchum, who's a very out and proud gay um, diver and swimmer. But that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, you've got me sold on this. I want to come see it. Thank Fantastic. you very much. Passionate about music.